Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. I want to get to this, and this is erupting right now in Mexico, just outside of Mexico City, about 80 kilometers outside, so about 50 miles away from Mexico City. This is a massive issue. Mexico just issued a phase three yellow alert. That's almost the highest alert they have. One step below that red alert, evacuation drills are ongoing. And if this thing has a catastrophic eruption, obviously, a uh, huge issue across uh, Mexico City, uh, Mexico itself, and it would have global impacts to the weather. And I'm covering that on YouTube on EarthQC. I'll put a link to that in the comments. We are thinking of our friends in the villages, towns around El Popo and uh, around Mexico City with this now erupting. Hopefully it doesn't have that massive eruption, but that is a possibility. So again, that's happening right here. So again, that's over on EarthQC. I wanna take you into what's going on with the rain and a couple spots I'm watching into the tropics and why two tropical waves could actually be some good news. I'd like to pass along some good news as well. Western Caribbean, we have been so quiet. Rain and storms near Panama. Eastern Caribbean, we finally got some rain. I know still some of us need it. Still some of us haven't gotten it, but at least we had that better chance. British, U.S. Virgin Islands, and as we work our way into Puerto Rico with that spin up to the north, still seeing some of the rain, and you can see that flow still bringing some of the extra clouds at the least, and that chance of some rain for Antigua and Barbuda, Guadalupe, Dominica, Martin. Unique St. Lucia, uh, still some scattered showers possible today. Same thing in Barbados. Rain chance going down some though. Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. Now here's that spin I was watching. Hurricane Center was keeping an eye on that as well. But again, not seeing any development. That's going to lift to the north. What's going on back here though, back in the southeast U.S., there's a front here, storm systems along it, and that may eventually spin something up. So I want to get to that in a moment. I'm going to show you that big model. I'll get to that in just a second. But this out here, there's one truck tropical wave here to here. The good news to pass along. One, they're not going to develop. The second thing is th this one here, that's our first tropical wave of the season. I was tracking this last week coming off of Africa. This is the second one. This is a sign we're going to transition into the wet season. As these move across, eventually this convergence zone will also lift a little bit more to the north. So if you haven't gotten some rain, we'll eventually get a better chance down the road. That is a sure sign that the pattern is changing. Now, coming off the coast of Africa, there are about 55 to 65 tropical waves per season. They develop a little bit later into the season. Again, the hurricane season doesn't start until June 1st. Conditions out there aren't conducive for development at this point, but it is a sign the pattern is changing and that some of us will have some more rain on the way. Eastern Pacific, pretty quiet right now. Models continue to hint, though, at something bubbling up, which is common. Uh, they are in the hurricane season in the Eastern Pacific. That starts earlier on May 15th. All right, forecast today. Then I want to show you that big picture model. Here's what's going on today. Hit or miss shower, Belize, Honduras, mainly dry. Cuba, Jamaica, scattered showers. Still, the afternoon, evening variety in about half of Jamaica, about half of us will get some scattered showers and storms. Spotty from the Dominican Republic, even Haiti and Puerto Rico as we go throughout the day. And you see Trinidad and Tobago, not as much. This is by tomorrow. ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. We have been so dry. We could use some rain. Tomorrow afternoon, hit or miss shower near Anguilla. Hopefully we get one in St. Kitts and Nevis. We need the rain uh, for sure. And over toward Montserrat, Guyana and Suriname, still those scattered scattered showers. But again, the rain chance does nudge down for a lot of us. Same thing on Thursday, pattern holding, passing showers. We get over toward uh, the Bahamas. And again, very dry Western Caribbean and not as much rain elsewhere. So the trend, at least in the short term, the rain chance goes down. But that's why I wanted to show you some of the good news way down the road with those tropical waves. Hopefully it bumps up again. Here's the big tropical model. Keep an eye up here. Here's Bermuda. We're getting some rain. Okay. That batch is going to lift away. But off the coast of Florida, there could be a little spin. So if we hear of a system developing, that would be well to the north. Again, not across the Caribbean. This is by the time we get into Thursday. And you see it yourself, that blob of rain sitting off the coast of the United States, off the coast of Georgia, the Carolinas, and Florida, mainly to the north of the Bahamas. Although Turks and Caicos through the Bahamas, scattered showers will be possible. So keeping an eye on this area right here, it has a very small window to develop. If it does develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm, it's got 
about a day or two to do so Thursday and Friday because after that, whatever it is, could just be a blob of rain. That's going to work its way into South Carolina and North Carolina, but that does mean the backside flow of this brings even more rain up toward Bermuda, which is right there. So keep an eye on everything, but again, in that short term, as I mentioned, a little bit drier across parts of the Caribbean. And you see it here as far as the rain totals go. This is through tomorrow night. The purple here, that could be 50 millimeters of rain. That would be from some of those scattered thunderstorms or a couple inches of rain. Panama will see a higher chance. Parts of Costa Rica, Colombia, not as much Venezuela. And the rain chance goes down a little bit. Guyana and Suriname, although Suriname, we've been dealing with some isolated flooding. We'll still have that chance. And watch near Puerto Rico and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands for that chance of a quick inch or two of some rain. But you see the Western Caribbean, most spots actually get nothing near Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua could see some afternoon storms, Guatemala, and again, as we work our way back toward El Salvador. So let me take you into the forecast, uh, some different spots, Belize, rain chance staying minimal, 10 to 20 percent chance we need these tropical waves starting to move in i'm going to talk about the western caribbean in just a second i want to get into that long-term outlook jamaica 50 percent chance of those storms today in spotty storms and spotty showers stay in the forecast not as much over toward the cayman islands u.s british virgin islands a 40 to 50 percent chance of scattered showers and storms a little more active as we swing over the next couple days hopefully antigua and barbuda we get a shower today 40 percent chance today starts to go down tomorrow and thursday a 30% chance at that point. And then we swing back toward Dominica. Again, some scattered showers possible today. And there's that rain chance, that trend. Tomorrow and Thursday, that rain chance back down to about a 20 to 30% chance. 50, 60% chance of scattered showers in Trinidad and Tobago today. But that rain chance going down, it's not zero. But again, 30, 40% chance tomorrow and Thursday. Guyana, it's down a little bit. But a 50 to 60% chance of showers and storms. Upwards of a 70% chance as we work our way into Suriname. So tracking the areas of some rain today, I'm not forgetting about us that are dealing with the drought, the water restrictions, uh, dealing with all of that, those water shortages. That is still ongoing. That is still getting worse if you haven't gotten the rain. Now, the Western Caribbean, as I mentioned a minute ago, long term, I'm trying to find some rain. Long term, it looks like right around June 5th, June 6th, we may see that chance of rain bumping up. So once we get into early June, maybe a few days into June, hopefully we get a better chance of rain near Mexico uh, and Belize, for example. And in the short term, keep an eye on some development that could happen in the southeastern United States by South Carolina and North Carolina. But that eruption again ongoing could have global impacts to the weather. Check that out. Search Earth QC on YouTube, and I'll put a link to that in the comments as well. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're safe, and I hope you have a good day ahead.